So I stumbled upon this VPN company recently called Anonymous VPN. And as you can see, they put some stylistic detail into their site. You know, dude, look at our mascot with the sunglasses. He doesn't have a name. Well, he does have a name, but we're not going to tell you what it is because, you know, we're anonymous and we're going to protect his privacy. Now, VPNs, they really can't be anonymous. The closest that you could probably get would be a VPN provider that doesn't have any KYC requirements of any kind when you sign up to them. So they shouldn't be asking for your name, your phone number, your email, none of that crap. And it would have to be a VPN provider that doesn't keep any logs. Now, I know what you're saying. Oh, my VPN provider doesn't keep any kind of logs. I mean, literally every VPN provider out there is saying that they don't keep logs. Even these guys here on their knowledge base, your server keep logs? We do not keep any traffic log. We have a strict no logs policy. Privacy is our first, middle, and last names. But how do you verify that? Maybe you can have an independent auditor verify that there are no logs being kept. But what does that prove? That no logs were found on the day that that audit was planned to search for logs? Or maybe the VPN provider really honestly and truly doesn't keep any logs until they do. Maybe there was some kind of court case or subpoena where that VPN provider was involved, some bad guys were using them to do some bad guy stuff on the internet, and they went and they got their servers and they searched them and there were no logs that were there. Well, how do you know after that, after this government or, you know, whatever agency that they have investigating this type of crime in that country, how do you know after that, uh, that there wasn't a private conversation with the owners of that VPN, that it would really be in their best interest to uh, let those guys in the suits and ties go in and install some extra software on there to keep some logs. You see, you really can't be 100% sure that a VPN provider isn't keeping logs. Which leads us to option two, pseudonymous VPNs. So there really isn't much that we can do about our IP addresses being logged besides j just trust them not to log it or trust them to throw this information away as soon as they no longer need it. But if you choose a VPN provider that requires the least amount of personal information from you as possible, then there's going to be less data for them to associate with any data that they may or may not be collecting from you, which makes that potential data that may be collected less valuable and even less likely to be gathered in the first place. And if we go to the uh, buy now option for these guys, right? So let's see how anonymous they really are. So we see that we got, um, yeah, the checkout and email address. So they required me to set up an account. Uh, they didn't actually require me to confirm this email. So they just wanted an email address. I guess you could throw whatever you want in there. Uh, they don't really seem to be blocking any emails either since this is a Gorilla Mail uh, domain. But if we go to complete our order, you see that this is our option for payment. They want uh, some kind of credit card, you know, Visa, MasterCard, Amex. Last I checked, none of those credit card providers had an anonymous way to set up. They require a lot of personal information. So there's no anonymous way to actually purchase this VPN provider, making it obviously not anonymous and not even pseudonymous. Uh, so are there any pseudonymous VPNs out there? Yes, there are. There are some options. Mulved VPN is probably the most feature rich one that I would recommend. Uh, it's also got the best privacy reputation of probably any VPN provider out there as far as not keeping logs and not requiring personal information. So instead of signing up uh, with an email address, you just click this generate account button uh, on their main page. And here you go. So this is what you get as your account. It's basically this uh, 16 digit number. So they just randomly generate that for you. Um, I don't know if there's any association of uh, like the IP address that the account was generated with, but you can just access them through Tor. I'm actually on Tor right now doing this entire video.
you know, I'm not on vacation in Ukraine right now. This is just where my exit note is. Uh, so yeah, you want to write down uh, this account number and then choose however many months of service that you're going to add to your account. So you can see it's five euros per month. Um, and then, well, flat rate. So like, doesn't matter if you get like a year or anything like that. Uh, so then for your payment options, as far as paying anonymously goes, um, basically cash and cryptocurrencies are your options. Now, as far as crypto, you get Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. There's a 10% discount that they offer for either one of those. Now, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, they don't really have any privacy built into them by default. So you have to practice really good OPSEC with these particular coins. Uh, you can obtain them and use them anonymously. Uh, you would have to basically get it for cash. So you could get them through uh, local Bitcoins or you could get them through some kind of a Bitcoin ATM. Uh, and then obviously don't like transfer it to any of your friends. You know, you wanna have that go into a fresh wallet, not your exchange wallet. Uh, so yeah, that's how you could try to get it anonymously with the cryptos, or you could just use cash. So that's probably what I would recommend. Um, you write down um, this payment token, I think might be the same as um, the account, or maybe it's different. Uh, and then, yeah, you just mail them some cash. You can drop that off in a mailbox, like doesn't have to be from your own home. And there you go. That's one way to get a pseudonymous VPN. Probably the best option, but there are some other VPN providers that are pretty good, uh, like iVPN. So same deal with these guys. You generate an account. Um, and then you choose uh, whichever kind of one that you want to get, standard or pro. You can see all the differences listed out here. So let's just say that we want pro. So there you go. Same um, kind of idea with the account ID. There's no email or anything like that associated. Uh, now for payment, they actually accept Monero. So this is, and they have cash as well. So these are your two best options uh, for payment. You know, Monero, that's going to be actual like digital cash. There's no way to trace it. Uh, and then cash, same deal, no way to trace that either. So this is another good option for getting a pseudonymous VPN. Uh, now here's another one uh, that I've been able to find that's kind of decent as far as not requiring personal information, offering uh, easy to use anonymous payments, VPN AC. Now, I don't recommend them as much as Mulvad or iVPN because uh, one, they don't really have this big reputation for not logging and uh, you know being a pseudonymous VPN. On their FAQ, uh, of course, they, they say that they don't collect logs. Well, actually, they give a little bit um, better detail by specifying that they do have connection logs about which IPs are connecting to their servers, which honestly is pretty good explaining that to the customer because every VPN provider is going to have uh, these kind of logs and these kind of information because it's required for a VPN to work. So if they say they don't have it, it's kind of a lie. So I appreciate them for being very transparent about that. Um, now they do require an email address uh, to sign up but you can see I used a Gorilla Mail domain here. So they do allow for disposable email and I'd imagine they would allow different Tor emails and things like that as well if they're not blocking Gorilla Mail. Uh, and then through their coin payments gateway, they accept a whole bunch of different cryptocurrencies, but they accept Monero as well. So again, that's your true digital cash, uh, probably the best option for paying anonymously. But like I said, because of the email thing, I'm going to give these guys third place for being a pseudonymous VPN. Um, and again, a VPN isn't ever going to give you true anonymity. The only way to even begin to do that would be to go through Tor or some other mixnet and practice good OPSEC and hope that the particular mixnet you're using isn't undergoing an attack to de-anonymize users on it at the time. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other non-KYC VPN providers that accept anonymous payments because this is becoming more and more difficult to find and obviously there's people out there that are interested in this one.